Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. Really appreciate you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. We all know that um, earlier on in the week, um, former Lagos State Governor and the National Leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, celebrated his 69th birthday. I know hearing that number alone is enough, uh, is enough discussion for the day. You know, arguments that um, Bola Tinubu can't be 69 years old. And also uh, what happened to his profile page on Wikipedia, how Wikipedia had to um, suspend the profile page because of changes. The, the age kept changing. It, it, was, it was changed 84 times in a day. Quite interesting. And what was it moving from? It was moving from 69 to 79, 69 to 79. I don't know who uh, who was doing that. But anyway, what it what looks like, uh, what was happening, those who feel that uh, Tinubu is way older than 69, they kept changing it to 79. And Tinubu's lawyer, Lisa Tinubu himself, kept taking it back to 69. And as a result, um, they had to put the profile on hold. But anyways, we know all that went down. He went to Kano for his uh, colloquium to mark his birthday. And then um, what we're getting right now is that and there are certain factors that will scuttle um, his um, 2023 presidency ambition. We know Tinobu is someone who is eyeing 2023, although he has not come out. But, you know, this uh, uh, colloquium that he held in Kano State, that was campaign for Tinobu. If you read in between the lines, Tinobu was already campaigning, definitely. He's already started his campaign, except uh, uh, you can't see it. He has started his campaign already. You know, when he was suggesting what um, needs to be done to end this insecurity <laughs> the one that um, shook the country most was when he was talking about um, um what needs to be done that 50 million nigerians needs to be hired he said that on tv it wasn't like someone was misquoting him when he got lambasted he now amended his way that actually he wanted to say 5 million not 50 million even if it's 5 million, did you see what he was stating that time? Um, they should just hire the people. They should bring them into the army. They should come into the army. That What will they eat? They will eat corn. They will eat cassava. Can you imagine the plans they are, they are making for people's children, people's husband, <laughs> people's parents? See the plan Tinubu has for them that they'll be eating corn and cassava. You know, um, he what got back to him was that uh, his children they should start eating corn and cassava. Anyway, guys, that's by the wayside. Then, uh, but uh, there are key factors um, from this his uh, um Kanu Kolekwam that would definitely scuttle um his 2023 ambition. That aside, we know that um, Nigerians have got reservations for Tinubu. Even not forget about the the, the Kanu Kolekwam. Tinubu is not um. Uh, nigerians choice i would say a a large percentage of nigerians they are not uh, um, in support of tinubu becoming president but he's still pushing his way through um seasoned politician you know he's been in the game for a long time and he's not ready to step down we'll find out more details uh, uh how this affects tinubu's 2023 um uh, ambition but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again his excellency the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, led the celebration of Asiwaju Ahmed Tinubu's 69th birthday, a former senator, former governor of Lagos State, and now a chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. It is the first time that Tinubu's colloquium is held outside Lagos or Abuja, the nation's capital. The celebration has raised many concerns for commentators and politicians who have now given it a political connotation 11 years after it started. This is because prior to Tinubu's surprise appearance last week in Arawa House, Kajuna, where he delivered a keynote address, the Arawa Youth Consultative Forum led by Yerma had protested Governor Abdullahi Omar Ganduje's decision to hold the event in Kano. The birthday was truly unforgettable with messages of goodwill, prayers and best wishes flowing in from all corners of the world sharing their joy and happiness as the national leader celebrated his 69th birthday in Kano. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, described Tinubu as 
a nationalist and someone who played a crucial role in the creation of the All Progressive Congress from four other political parties in his speech and goodwill message. He also said that Tinubu was instrumental in ushering in the APC change movement and that his choice of Kano was indeed timely given the country's ongoing ethnic tension. The president's remark have put an end to the long-running fictions and reports that there are two APC camps, Buhari's and Tinubu's. However, from Tinubu's speech, a lot of concerns were raised and also arguments about Tinubu's choice of what to do with Nigerians and how to end the insecurity in the country. Tinubu had stated that 50 million Nigerians should be engrafted to join the military and they should be fed with corn and cassava. That got a lot of Nigerians reacting as why Tinubu would prefer that Nigerians would be treated that way. Many political analysts have the opinion that this colloquium in the north may affect Tinubu's 2023 presidential election. However, others have it that Tinubu's choice of using Kano for his 69th birthday may help douse the tension of the ethnic crisis currently going on in the country. Well, Tinubu um, took this um, colloquium to Kano State. We know uh, a couple of days before the um, the event was to take place Arawa, they were blowing hot but we can see so far that they couldn't do anything anyway i don't know if they were settled somehow they stated that it should not hold in the government house that ganduje should not try it it finally held we can see <laughs> how politicians they know how to press the button they know what to do but anyways um it's been stated here that uh, there are two sides to this colloquium that held in kano state one is that uh, it will help douse the tension because rather than Tinubu holding this in Lagos State, he prefers to take it over to the north so as to show to the north that um, the country is united. On the other hand, during Tinubu's speech about um, how to end the insecurity in the country, he was talking about um, um, Nigerians should be engrafted into the military and how they should be fed with corn and cassava. That didn't sit well with Nigerians at all. I mean, it sounds somehow in the ear listening to that. I don't know. That uh, what we they eat, it means that all that you're thinking about, you don't even have any plans for them. You just give them corn and cassava and let them just go and and uh, <laughs> it's very sad anyway. But uh, my people, uh, let's hear your own take. If you feel that um, this um, colloquium, it will help um, the northerners. Because on another part, it was stated that um, Tinubu is trying to gain support of no the northern governors that's why i took it over to the north so that um, they will support him for his um, ambition let's hear your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye